When I was a little girl, I would hear my grandma say our neighbor had a long tongue. It scared me to think of that lady with a lizard tongue. I would walk faster every time I passed by her house. As time went by, I learned that this expression describes to a person who likes gossip a little too much. The term tongue has many definitions. It refers to a verbal expression and communication system, that is to say, it's speech. We also call tongue the tip of the flame during a fire. For this clip, we'll use a term to name the limb inside our oral cavity. Most of the time, we ignore that this organ is capable of. Also hard to believe, the tongue is an organ made of flesh and bone. What we see and feel as our tongue is muscle part, able to move freely if needed. Its base, the place where it emerged from, is mainly constituted by hyoid bone. The hyoid bone is a medium-sized, symmetrical, horseshoe-shaped bone located on the larynx and jaw. It is not directly attached to any other bones, practically insulated from the rest of the skeleton and connected only by ligaments. If you raise your chin, you can notice it as swallow. Placing in a finger on a hyoid bone, you will notice a quickly rises. Just like larynx, these are pushed upwards when swallowed. The hyoid bone, with its membranes and its sharp plates, is basically our tongue's skeleton. The muscular section of the tongue is made of 17 muscles. Eight of those are pairs and one odd. We won't mention the names of these muscles, understanding that those soft strips that connect to bones and neighbor entities make up a delicate weight. The thumb's structure, which have the shape of a flat cone with its base, two sides, two edges, and a free vertex or tip of the tongue. The tongue is a charge of taste, mastication, deglutition, suction, speech, among many other functions. The tongue is a mucous organ. Humidity is its natural state. Mouth and tongue cannot stay dry. Saliva is an essential component. It has a thin cover stuck on the neighbor structures which allows its mobility. Its upper side is a lingual cover, raw and irregular, and it's seated with the taste buds in its surface, which allows us to savor everything that goes into our mouths. Taste buds have the specific task of identifying flavors, sweet, tart, sour, salty, and its variation, which make us enjoy our meals. The tongue finds unpleasant flavors, like medicine, some spoil, or badly seasoned foods. Once it's identified, the tongue labels them as unappetizing, preventing them from being swallowed and avoid negative consequences. It is also a vigilant gatekeeper, like a doorman who locks up or allows access to everything that goes into our mouths. Its extreme sensitivity detects dangerous solids and extreme temperatures that could harm us or affect neighboring structures. As food enters the mouth and is accepted by the tongue, its processing begins. For a liquid, all it takes is to measure before swallowing. For a solid, various movements are needed. The tongue places along the different molars time and time again, which allow with salivation allows food to become a soft dog known as bolus or cut. Doctor says many illnesses are reflected through the tongue, changing its color and appearance. The surface of the tongue has spaces that make room to microbial particles that thin the mouth allow its easy reproduction. That's why you should add brushing your tongue to your oral hygiene ritual. Despite the many functions it carries out, we don't give our tongue the treatment it deserves. We start our days burning it with coffee, cigarettes, and spicy foods. If that wasn't enough, we bite in our stress or show it to our enemies. This harms the tongue, but it endures. Many illnesses can appear in the tongue, and since most are painless and silent, they can grow without us being able to do something to stop them cysts, spots, ulcers, infections, or even carcinoma. Let's do something for our tongues. Let's look after these words who find any irregularities. We communicate and eat with our mouths. It's hilarious from inconvenience and even when a piece of food gets stuck between our teeth, the tongue warns us and insists until we eliminate the threat. We thank you for following Vitamina C every week. Today we reached out the end of our first season, but we will be back in 2017. We invite you to follow the flow of communication from the root and to be aware of all that we have to share. Discover, share and comment, here on Vitamina C.